had a fungus. Wow, didn't know that was there. Can't make a video around here without the dog barking. I don't think they should be looking that like that. I'm gonna put that bean in my pocket. I wonder what's happening with Mr. Leaf there. My loofah is like a little ant farm. Jeez, there goes my brain. I've already blown one up in the microwave. If the squirrel gets it, can you please get the squirrel? Hi everybody, welcome back. Let's do another garden tour today. Doesn't that sound like fun? My garden is doing so much better and I'm in the dark. Maybe I'll move to the sun. Let's see, flipping around. Oh, well, there I am. Yeah, okay, that was weird. Okay, garden tour. Rob is fixing something he told me, but I don't know. He probably told me like four times what he's doing. I do know that he just left and went to the store to get gas line for something that he's working on couldn't tell you. Okay, let's start with the loofah. The loofah is doing quite well. Quite well. Look at these pretty flowers. Let me go on the other side. Look at how pretty these flowers are. Aren't those just so pretty? I don't see any actual loofah yet, but I imagine it's going to be coming at some point because all these flowers are out. And look at this. Here's the flower. Isn't that, isn't that just so pretty? And then, let's see, that one's pretty too. Underneath, it's got like that. I, I think these are more flowers or more vines that are gonna shoot out. I'm not really sure. I was watching His Way Homestead, which you guys, you need to check them out. They hit a thousand subscribers and they made a so nice video to help us get over our thousand mark. So we've hit a thousand subscribers too. So pretty soon we're gonna be doing a giveaway. Not sure what that's gonna be yet, but thank you. It was a beautiful video. I'm gonna link their channel below. They just recently hit a thousand subscribers. And if you wanna go over there and watch them and maybe like watch a playlist or two, they sure would appreciate that, I'm sure. Watch a playlist. Hint, hint, a playlist. They need a playlist watched. All right, well, let's go back to the loofah. They, oh, what I was saying is, they have ants too all over their loofah, and my loofah is like a little ant farm. There's ants like everywhere. Maybe they're carrying the pollen, you know? If they hit a leaf and then go to a flower, and I'm just gonna let them do their thing. Over here is our acorn squash. Now, Oh, look at that. There's a little one growing here. Now I had one growing and it fell off. I don't know how big acorn squash gets before you have to pick it. I know that's too small. But let me show you over here. This is another acorn squash, which wanted butternut. But anyway, this one, can you see this in here? Let's get in there. Here's one. But how big does acorn squash get before you need to pick it? I'm not sure about that. Anybody know? Let me know because I don't know. I don't know. Oh, look, there's another one coming right there. So I'm really, ha I ho oh, there's another one back there. I certainly hope I like acorn squash. Okay, over here is the zucchini. Look how big it's gotten. It's gotten quite big. And then down here, right there we have a zucchini now we've already I've stuffed one okay well I've already blown one up in the microwave see that video <laughs> but the dinner ended up really good so you know next time I know to cut like make a slit in the zucchini before I put it in the microwave or try to cut it in half then put it in the microwave what I was trying to do was like get the skin in the or the meat inside the zucchini softer so it would be easier to get out so I could make a boat. Well, my boat exploded. <laughs> my boat exploded. But the dinner was very good. So, got that zucchini plant. I don't see any more coming on here. And then I have this little guy. I'm not sure what happened to him. But I came out here the other day and all these leaves were like shriveled up and laying on the ground. So, I don't, I don't know. I guess we still have hope for this plant. I hope he makes it. But there's that. I do have more zucchini in the back. We'll get there. I thought it was 
cucumbers when I planted it, not cucumbers. So I only have one cucumber plant. I would have liked more. Maybe I could plant one right now. I'm sure it's not too late. If it is, I mean, what the heck? Might as well plant a seed somewhere and see if it grows. If you remember our tomatoes, we had that septoria leaf spot. We had a fungus. So I've taken care of that. And what I've done with that is I've removed all the bottom leaves so nothing touched the dirt. You don't want anything touching the dirt. They're doing okay. And you see down there, have got nothing touching the dirt. I, I'm going to, I have this bed all opened up today. We usually have screen around it. But I'm going to go in here and weed. Now, this is either a Roma or an Amish paste tomato. Don't know. This too, same thing. We have tomato surprise, and we think that this one is the beefsteak. Of course, Michelle didn't label the plants very well, but it's like, we're gonna eat it anyway, so does it really matter? This one's kind of coming out the top here. So what I did a week ago, watched a lot of videos on how to prune tomatoes because I wanted the tomatoes to have the best chance possible at life because they already went through that fungus, which we do still have some fungus. I think I'm seeing, let me, let me look and I'll show you. Let's see, we have something going on here, but that doesn't look like the fungus. That doesn't, what is this over here? Let me pick this leaf. No, that doesn't look like the fungus. So maybe we got rid of the fungus. I'll have to Google like leaf end rot and see what that looks like. I only see that on a few. But what I did was I came out here and I pruned my tomatoes about a week ago. And after I did that, these plants like exploded. They, I came out a couple days later to, well, I've been out looking at it, but it's like a week later. Oh my gosh, they're, they're bigger, they're fuller. That little guy was spindly. You know, he's still a little spindly, but not like he was. So let me show you on a plant how I did this. All right. Here's the tomato plant, of course. The main stem that comes up the top. Well, you see this leaf right here? That there's nothing on it. Nothing. It, it's just shooting out by itself with nothing. I cut some of those back. Like, here's another one right here, down here, right? Just this leaf right here, this whole stem. I cut some of those off. Not a lot, just enough to kind of thin it out and so air could flow through there because of the fungus. And I just wanted to see what they would do. And they, they just exploded after I did that. I also have red little spider things crawling all over these. And I'm not real happy about those. I don't know what's happening over here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to have to Google what that is. Because I'm not sure if that's... That might be. See that spot right there? Can you see that right at the tip of my... That This might be a fungus. So when I come out, I'll cut all this back. When you cut the fungus off your tomatoes, throw it in the garbage and wash your hands and you know that when you're cutting off leaves or branches that have a fungus you're going to get it on your hands so be very careful when you touch the other tomatoes just be careful we've been having pepper surprise here because again michelle didn't label the plants very good which rob said you know i'm going to be more involved in this next year no he's not <laughs> no he's not okay well maybe but these seem to be green peppers, which I'm really happy about because I didn't think we were getting any green peppers. I thought, oh my gosh, because all I'm seeing is hot peppers come up. That looks like a green pepper. And then back there is Hungarian. Those are Hungarians. Over here we've got the green pepper and then a hot pepper. Now look at that leaf. I wonder what's happening with Mr. Leaf there. I'm going to have to come in and cut that off. 
But I'm going to spend some time in this bed today weeding it and taking care of it. So then we have the husband. He's home. Haven't okay. seen him in a while. He's been working like a dog. Poor guy. <laughs> he finally has a Saturday off. Finally. Finally. So we're happy about that. But here's my sunflowers. I just stuck in here, the end of the bed. My granddaughter and I did that. So we've got sunflowers there and over here. Oh, look at this one. Looky there. I hope the squirrel doesn't find that. I'm going to have to find the squirrel if it does. Then we've got the pole beans here that have been climbing. They're all doing what they're supposed to do. In fact, one of them's wrapped around my sunflower and going up the trellis thingy there. Sort of make beans now too. Are they? Let me see. There. A little there. bean there. A little bean oh, down here. Oh, there's a little baby bean. Oh, good. I've never grown pole beans before. I thought these were bush beans. So, I was wondering when they were starting to get beans. Hi, buddy. How are you? We have beans. Then over here, we have more sunflowers because I just stuck these in here because I thought they'd be pretty. I'm sure it'll bring the bees and the squirrels. Oh, look, getting heads. Yay. This one. That one. Oh, yeah, another. Yep, I hope. You know what? If the squirrel gets it, can you please get the squirrel? I can't shoot it, but I can trap it. All right, well. Look for a squirrel jerky video coming in the near future then. Dehydrated squirrel. De <laughs> Dehydrated squirrel. Okay, we could do that. We'll make jerky out of it. Squirrel jerky. And then in here, I have the dragon's tongue beans. I have these, which I've been picking. We had some the other night. I'm going to let these go a little bit. I don't know what I'm going to do in here. Yeah, it doesn't back. really look like we're going to have more. I, it looks like these are about like done. Right well, there's still more flowers. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll pick it. So there you go. When I cooked this bean with the purple in it, all the purple went away. It just disappeared. I don't, and it was a regular, like a lighter color green bean. And it tasted pretty good. I'm going to put that bean in my pocket. Let's hope that I don't forget that I put the bean in my pocket. Nice. The Amazon guy's next door, so of course now the dog will bark. Can't make a video around here without the dog barking. Just, it's not possible. Looks like the cat's coming on the garden tour also. Over here we have peppers. Again, pepper surprise is happening. Don't know what those are yet, but look at, we have a lot of Hungarian hot wax, which I'm happy about. And what I'm doing with these is just freezing these. I'm cutting them in the size that I want them to make oils and oil and peppers and oil. Yeah, I'll get it out. But I'm cutting them the size that I want them and freezing them. But wow, look at all the peppers on that guy. Holy moly. But I mean, we've got these tiny little plants with all these peppers just kind of exploding out of them. Oh look, see there's a green pepper over there. Wow, didn't know that was there. Also, I have these, uh, there's a lot more peppers, marigolds at the ends of my garden because my dad always did that, so I thought maybe I needed to do that. So I did that. Got, you know, so I bet those are gonna be pretty. My dad's marigolds by the end of the year were like huge and beautiful. One can only hope. All right, so there it is. There's the peppers and the tomatoes and the loofah and the squash. My husband put the dog in the house. So if you hear the dog barking, whining, the Amazon guy came here, go figure. Wonder what I ordered. Do you ever order stuff from Amazon and then just forget what you ordered? I, I did that, yep, I did that. The beets are looking quite good. Well, let's see, is that a weed? Can't have weeds in the beets, no. But they're looking. They're okay. Well, that one's growing quite, that's good. I like beets and eggs, pickled beets and eggs, and so do my children. So I imagine that we'll be sharing the pickled beets and eggs. Look, at, look in there, look at those beets grow. Wow. Over here I've got more onions going. I'm going to dehydrate these soon, pick them and just dehydrate all of them. And here's some chives, onions and chives in here. 
So we have that happening and the sunflowers. So a squirrel ate the head off of these and look at they're growing. Maybe they're going to make another head. I don't know. That would be nice. It looks like that area needs weeded. Evidently my husband's working on the weed whacker because that's what I see or hear. See here. I hear that. The grapevine I've been really watching so we don't get a fungus on that. I've been picking out the bigger leaves in the center so the air flows through. I don't know if we're going to have grapes this year. I mean last year we, my daughter and I, really trimmed this up good. But right now we have that. We have two bunches of this and it's not moldy. Last year this would have been moldy and gross. So I'm doing something right with the grapevine. Okay, over here in this area, this is a low laying area that when it rains water, I mean, it stays a little wetter. And this is, what is this? Hold on a minute, I'll think of, what is this? Jeez, there goes my brain. This is horseradish, got it, horseradish. Won't be eating it this year but I'm glad it came in. Maybe in a year or two we'll be eating that. Hopefully that'll spread in this area. I really like horseradish, so does Rob. My grandpa used to make his own, so I thought, hmm, I'm gonna try to do that. We'll see what happens. Now, back here is zucchini and a cucumber, and I'm not real sure what's happening back here. All these leaves, I'm gonna have to Google this because I'm getting, the leaves look like that. I don't think they should be looking that like that. I'm pretty sure they shouldn't be. So I don't know if it's maybe some kind of fungus. I, I don't know. I have no idea. But we're still getting flowers off of it. I don't see any zucchini in there, but we're still getting flowers off of it. So we've got that white stuff all the way down through here. And oh no, we have two cucumbers. I'm sorry. We have this tiny one and then this bigger one that has pretty flowers all over it. And I see a cucumber in there. But you see this also has that white stuff all over it that I don't know what it is. I have no idea. No idea what this white stuff is. Alright, there's our garden. I don't think I'm going to pick anything today. I might wait a couple days. I think Rob has like a fish scale. And we're going to weigh our produce from the fish scale. Check out His Way Homestead. Go watch uh, some of their videos. I bet they'd appreciate it. I would. And I'll see you next time. Bye.